Greetings to all. Hope you're doing well now. Today is November 8, 2019. Tariq Nasheed is now selling hotel merchandise, clothing. But I will refresh your memory so you can hear from the horse's mouth. You can hear what Tariq Nasheed himself used to say about hotel people. He used to disrespect them. He used to diss them. And that was in 2012. Oh yes, people can switch so much and be such hypocrites. And I addressed him back then, for those who can remember. But check this out. That's his website. If you scroll down, boom, Hotep t-shirt. Boom, Hotep sweater. Now listen to what he used to say regarding Hotep people. So that's why people are able to use religion to run game, especially a lot of those slick, fake hotep niggas that I'm always talking about. I saw something in the news today. Well, uh, on the Internet today, somebody put on my Facebook page, the rapper Loon, who used to be on Bad Boy. He turned into one of those fake hotep niggas. He then grew a big, long Islamic beard and he's walking around with the kufi on and he didn't change his name to Abdullah Muhammad. I mean, one of those Islamic names doing the whole Islamic shebang and they didn't call this fool over in Belgium trying to move weight. He's stuck over there overseas now trying to um, bring dope out of the country and all this old shit. You, you know what I'm saying? All that. All that fake hotep shit and all that fake religious nonsense, man, that shit is, that, it's tired. Cats are falling off behind that, man. It's late in the day. Ain't nobody trying to get down like that, man. Cats are getting called down with all that fake um, hotep religious, uh, praise the Lord, and you slick. Yeah, that, that's getting played out. You heard it, and it's not over. That was the appetizer. Listen to that now. type of dude we have, number four, we have the Dusty Hotep niggas, and y'all know I talk about them all the time, the fake conscious dudes, the dudes who use consciousness to describe, to disguise their dustiness, they use consciousness to disguise all the dusty behavior they exhibit, now most of those Dusty Hotep niggas, these are dudes with those fake hustles, they like, they sell incense or bootleg DVDs. These are these dudes who are fresh out of prison. They didn't learn how to use the conscious hustle to make a couple of dollars. And these dudes, they contradict themselves every time they open their mouths. They'll be the first ones running around talking about we need to build a nation, build a nation. But then they'll spend every dollar they have in a strip joint. Every time they get a buck, they're in a damn strip club. They're running around talking about your body is a temple of Allah. But these dudes are undercover crackheads. There's a lot of these so-called conscious hotep niggas that are straight crackheads on the low. So these dudes are always contradicting themselves. They use consciousness to disguise how dusty they are. They're always running around talking about the people should give out the knowledge for free. I, a lot of these dusty conscious niggas say that about me, about hidden colors. Oh man, hidden colors, man. Tariq should be giving that away for free. And them same dusty niggas will have bootleg copies selling them. These same dusty niggas who talk about the knowledge should be free, they be walking around with a bunch of bootleg DVDs selling them. You understand what I'm saying? So don't be fooled by these dusty niggas who are talking about hotep this, hotep that. Another thing about the, the fake hotep dusty niggas, they, their teeth are always messed up. That's another thing. You can tell a fake dusty hotep nigga by their teeth they teeth be hit niggas teeth look like they got 32 sticks of butter in their mouth it's always a raggedy mouth nigga talking about hotep this hotep that you dig so do not be fooled by that so you heard it from the horse's mouth that's what he used to say you heard him say with his own mouth that he used to talk about this fake hotep n words all the time that you heard him talk about that fake hotep Ish. But now, <laughs> seven years later, he has found a new hustle. 
selling t-shirts about the same thing he used to disrespect. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. See, people have a short memory. And sometimes you need to remind them what's up. If you have a short memory, it's very dangerous because the same one who tried to <laughs> really put you down can holler at you now and act like he's cool with you. But it's all good. I mean, we don't hurt it all because y'all cool with teachings that say that Africans are living a jungle life anyway. So that will not phase you, would it? I'm sure it will not phase you because you are all cool. Well, when I say all, I'm talking about the, the, the Pan-African circus. You are caught with teachings that says that Africans are living a jungle life. You have proven that by defending those teachings, making excuses for those teachings, and actually teaching those things. So that will not phase you, would it? And another thing that's interesting also is that people make DVDs talking about the Haitian Revolution. Then they go around and <laughs> talking sideways about Haitians, talking about Haitians um, as uh, immigrants, talking about um, they shouldn't get into our business and so on. Like, that straight tribalism is funny because when the Haitians got free, they said that anybody who uh, reached their soul, anybody who was in uh, a condition of slavery that reached their soul is automatically free. So, back then... If you were in such a condition as slavery, you go to Haiti and you'll be free automatically. And now, many years later, you have people making DVDs about the Haitian Revolution. And they sound like a black version of Trump. So, you might as well go ahead and support the $200,000 conference that is coming up. Because... Um, you Pan-Africans are fun in that. And then you pay to get there. <laughs> um, so you have like a hundred, a hundred dollar seats, two hundred dollar seats or whatever. I mean, all kind of prices, you know, suit yourself. It's all good. It's all good. As a matter of fact, hold on. Where would I find this thing? I, will, I might as well show you to show it to you. Let me just look for it. Let me just look for it. One moment. Might as well just look for it. You might not be aware. We're going to end on a good note. Definitely going to end on a good note. So. Because sometimes people will be like, oh no. No, no, that's not what was said. No, 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 that's, that's, no, you got it wrong. You got it mixed up. Foundational Black American Conference 2012, 2020, sorry. 2012 is the time when <laughs> Tariq was uh, dissing hotel people. So $20,000 have been raised so far. But what I'm looking for, that's the, the website with the seats. So. Okay, well, that's okay. So. I'll show it to you. Hold on. So, so three hundred and forty three people have donated twenty thousand euros, so that would be a bit more in dollars. That's great, that's beautiful. The goal is two hundred thousand dollars. Now look at the seats there. General admission. 45 euros. So that's more in dollars. Then you have prime seating pass, 91 euros. <laughs> then you have VIP admission, 181 euros. Remember, euros are a bit 
uh, stronger than a than dollar, just, just slightly uh, higher. Meet and greet pass, 453 euros. <laughs> General vendor booth, 800 euros. What well, people will say, okay, you'll be able to sell, so that's justified. VIP vendor booth placement, 1300 euros. VIP event sponsor listing, 2000 euros. <laughs> so there it is. There it is. That's great. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And probably over there, you will have those. Um, um, those books, I'm sorry, those um, those uh, <laughs> clothing, Hotep clothing, you know, back then it wasn't cool, now it's cool. And you know, that reminds me of um, Professor Griff, the same Professor Griff who, who was shading uh, John Henry Clark, was talking sideways about John Henry Clark, way after John Henry Clark passed. When John Henry Clark was alive, dude didn't say Jack, but that they have had, those Asiatic black men, they have a, a habit of dissing people once they die. Just like Farrakhan did with Khalid, talking about him having a feminine side, talking about Khalid being molested uh, as a child. I've shared the audio, it's there. You know, if people want to challenge me on that, then feel free to challenge me, but don't do it anonymously uh, so we can have fun. And um, so, yeah, same thing with Malcolm X also, uh, him having a problem with women and uh, obviously the praising his killers. But anyway, Professor Griff shaded John Henry Clark and he went on talking about he's not an African. He said, I don't consider myself an African and so on. He went on and he went on and he went on. Africa is a landmass and he went on and went on. And uh, I addressed that back then. And then years later... What do I see Professor Griff doing? Libations. <laughs> so people, people, I mean, people are like transformers now. People are like transformers. They 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 talk about something, they 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 will diss it. And when it's then when they see that they can benefit from it, then all of a sudden it becomes cool without making any amendments whatsoever. When Tariq Nasheed was being bootlegged, when when his hidden colors was uh, a victim of bootleg from uh, Sabir Bey, who is a Moor. He didn't go around talking about that fake Moorish thing. And you heard him talking about Loon. Loon was not onto no was not into any hotep tip. <laughs> he was a um, a Muslim, most likely a Sunni Muslim. He didn't talk that fake Muslim thing. See, that's how people are. They they, they can get they can get very weak. They can get very weak going at people when they when they feel like those people are not very numerous and so on. But that was like 2012, and now the movement has grown a bit, so it's not the same. But people should have integrity, really. They should have integrity. So, and another thing that's funny as well is that when you heard him talk, he mentioned the fact that. Um, the donation that people will get will be thrown at strippers, and I don't need to say any names, do I? I don't need to say any names. And one thing also you should remember, before Tariq went at the, what is it, the Prince of Pan-Africanism, he defended him regarding that situation with the quote-unquote conscious stripper. That's just for the record, you know what I'm saying? It's just for the record. 